We spoke to Chris Alty, Level Design Director, and Sebastian Laurent, Technical Director, about Performance Update 4.2. When we released 4.0, there was a number of things that had been changed in the game. There were a number of things in the background that had happened, and this caused some performance drops for a lot of people. The community were very vocal about it, as right they should have been. And this was one of the things that we wanted to make sure we fixed for the performance update and not only fixed it and improved it, but added on top of it, made the stalls go down, um, lowered people's CPU usage and other things. So players will get some improvements to the threading because that's one of the main causes for the stalls that we've identified. Overall, we are going to reduce the pressure on your multiple CPU cores. You should also see a slight decrease in the memory usage. We see maybe 15% memory um, reduction there. People in lower end hardware should also see a frame rate increase as well. And we always said that it's better for a game to have a smooth 30 than it is to have a spiky 60 when it comes to performance. Like you're trying to aim at someone, you're trying to take someone's head off with a, with a Winchester and the second you go to pull the trigger there's a few frame drop and you miss the shot. Is you know That's a devastating thing to a player and it's something that we obviously want to avoid. What we found was in the background there was a process that was happening in runtime that should not have been happening in runtime. It was something that was disabled you know, at some point in development of Hunt, but it was only disabled in our internal builds. In the release versions of the game, this feature was still actively running in the background. And when we turned that off, we noticed that there was you know, a big improvement in the smoothness of the game. So that is something that will benefit literally every player out there. It will be you know, a much smoother experience because of that being disabled now. So yeah, this background process that we uh, figured out was also especially memory hungry. So for machines that have lower amount of RAM, like typically eight gigabytes or so, it was especially uh, expensive to have it running. Additionally to this, we also uh, realized our physics thread was now having a higher workload than our main thread. So we had to synchronize properly the main thread and the physics thread to make sure that you don't render multiple frames with the same physics result. Because even if your frame rate would stay high in that kind of context, you would still end up with a very stuttery feeling. Typical users have about four cores, but we have many more threads that need to run, that need CPU time to, to execute. So like typically we have multiple threads running for physics, like physics workers. We have a, a job system that is splitting all the workloads of the gameplay logic and of some other systems onto multiple threads. We have a main thread, we have a render thread, we have multiple audio threads, and all of this like fights to get some CPU time. So even if we just reduce the workload on the physics thread. It's not just affecting physics, it's also giving some breathing room for every other process to run and get CPU time. In addition to that, we found a few places where we were loading objects in runtime, which is a big no-no, we don't want to be doing that. We found an issue specifically in Cemetery. Normally when you're in these underground sections, you don't render a lot of the stuff outside and around you. We found a bug in that where it could be rendering a lot more than it should do. So we fixed that so players might see perhaps 10 to 20 frame improvements in the underground sections, especially fighting bosses, which we think will obviously help people a lot when they're doing that. Users might see that in the debug uh, information that they can activate, that the CPU starts waiting for the GPU. If you ever see this, something that you might want to take a specific look into is resolution scaling, because the biggest cost we have on the GPU is typically the, the rendering side of it, which is directly linked to the number of pixels that need to be processed. So the resolution scaling is a good way to keep your UI crisp and still lower a bit the load that you have on the GPU side. Also, please make sure that uh, if you can afford it, you're in uh, exclusive full screen, because that might also help for various reasons, like the OS allows Hunt to have more uh, resources dedicated to it when you're in that mode. What we haven't done is combined everything that we were going to do for 5.0 and 4.2 into one patch. Reason being is then you wouldn't get a patch for quite a long time, so we wanted to make sure that we uh, addressed current issues and smoothed out the experience for people as much as we could soon as possible, because obviously you know, players have been waiting several weeks now for performance updates, so we wanted to make sure that they had something now that they could see and they could get some effects for to offset the issues that we saw in 4.0. So that was a huge priority for us. Um, we're focusing on um, asset-side optimizations for 5.0, 
and we want to make sure that you know from a, a GPU side that there will be improvements there as well. The reason why we don't have all these optimizations shipped into 4.2 is linked to the way we structure patches. All of our minor patches will have like smaller chunks of perhaps content, but mostly code improvements, whereas it's only in major patch releases that we can feature like perhaps level refactorings or changes on the way we approach animations or things like this, like riskier changes have to wait for uh, larger content updates. From our side, we want to say thank you guys for your patience, especially over the last few weeks when it comes to performance on Hunt. And we appreciate any feedback you give us on this patch, which should now be live for all of you. We will keep on working on performance and there's going to be more updates to come. So thank you. Thank you. Achieved with CryEngine.